Yesterday we did cut some trees down and uh, overnight it did snow but I still wanted to get here and test my new Wetterling small to finally see uh, how it performs in, in like a real life situation. Here it is. Uh, maybe you've seen my other videos, you know um, what it's all about. So let's start with a more uh, like a smaller one, which I could do, of course, with a large X. And um, I did previously for years split stuff like that. You see here with just the large splitting X from Wetterlings. It's kind of a, a cherry wood. Okay, see, that is that is easy. That spits like butter. See that? It's, it's no effort at all. Unlike other malls, um, Wetterlings uh, has a fairly sharp edge, so it actually does cut first before it then splits, so it penetrates the log deeper. With two and a half kilograms, the axe head is relatively light for a maul, and thus makes it easy to lift over your head, and you can accelerate it very high when coming down. Okay. No problem. Now I'm just swinging the axe. No force, see? And with a higher head speed, the impact energy is actually the same like with a heavier maul and a slower speed. Look, there's even a little bit of branches in here. So let's take a bigger one. Let's take this one here. That is alder. That's from the birch family. Okay, it's always good in the beginning to start with, with sort of like a moderate force. Let's see it here. It, it is split already a little bit. So, but a piece that size, you can always start from, from a segment from the outside. Okay. I missed a little bit there. That already took a, a deep gouge here. But as I said, don't blow too much in the beginning until you know. There you go. Until you know how much force you need for, for that kind of wood. So rather first increase your accuracy and then increase your force. It's not a completely simple piece, it has some branches, but no problem. Look, here's a piece in the beginning I missed. And there you go. Let's take another one of that sort. Now I know I need a little bit more force. Same situation, a little tear in the middle and you have um, a segment. I would start with a segment. And from then on it's straightforward and relatively easy. So there was a little branch in there. There you can see the branch. There's actually two. There's one in the middle when the tree was young and one on the outer part. So it's not a complete easy piece, not straight grown, but not a problem for the mall. So I, I think I'm stopping now, it's starting to, to rain or snow rain and I'm getting wet. So
So that was the mall. Comes with that nice sheath. And I wanted to show you the Vetterling's large splitting axe one more time in, in action. It is a little shorter. But it's it's well uh, working for the small stuff or the medium stuff. I used it for years and I'm really satisfied with it. And uh, now I got them all for the for the bigger rounds. So I didn't have really big rounds now, um, but I'm I'm sure I will get in the future and then maybe I shoot another video then with the big stuff where I really have to put some some elbow grease. I use that on a on a slight slant. Naturally you can turn the the pieces when they don't stand even small pieces they they don't always stand. Look here. It's not perfectly um, perpendicular cut and this way they stand then. So it's good to have it on a slight slope. And as you can see I'm working way back on the block. If the axe goes through, um, you still hit the block and you don't hit the air where then it, the axe comes flying back at you. Like, look at this. See, the axe sticks in the block then and you're safe. And here this is cherry wood again. And let's uh, split it one more time. Like this here. That's a nice size. That's small enough. Okay, let's call it a day. And maybe I'll see you next time <laughs> with, with one of my other X videos. See you.